Monkfish medallions. Oh, we're going to saute it and layer it with a little bit of mm, za'atar butter sauce. Oh, baby. With a little bit of shallots in that. Mm -hmm. Cheers to you, darlings. Oh. Let's get cooking. Okay, I have about um, two eight inch, eight to 10 inch long fillets of uh, the monkfish. Now the monkfish is also known as the stargazer from those in Australia, yeah. It's, you know, it's really like a lobster. Uh, it tastes similar to lobster. It's also considered as the poor man's lobster or the fruit. You can say the frugal man's lobster if you want to be more etiquette, have more etiquette with it. <laughs> but take a look at this. It's nice and uh, meaty and it's very mild. You know, the health benefits is very high in protein and phosphorus out the roof. Good for your bones, baby. Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm gonna t slice these in medallion sizes. And medallions are just like, yes, quarter circles, about an inch in um, width here. I'll cut them in length, actually. And it's already done in the width. All these are really nice, too. Look at that. See how meaty that is inside? It's a very mild fish as well. Oh! We're going to be eating good tonight, even though it is considered as the poor man's lobster. Hmm, it's really good. And, uh, you know, the price point is maybe about uh, three quarters of the what a lobster would be. Yeah, at this, well, maybe mm, about almost three quarters, to, half to three quarters of what the price would be, depending if you find it on sale or something like that. But uh, you can find it at your, your nearby fishmonger. If they don't have it, ask them if they can get it in for you. Yeah. Hey, we're going to do some shout outs right now. Oh, we got some people who have been tuning in. And I hope you're tuning in too. But I make sure you like and sh uh, share right now. Subscribe, subscribe so that you too can leave your comments and try these wonderful dishes we have here. And you can also just email me. I will send you the recipe. How about that? Hey, we got a shout out here from um, Jay Anur. And he says, oh, he's been following the many of the many of the uh, the shows. Yeah. And he likes what we're doing here. Oh, thank you, Mr. or Ms. Anar. <laughs> Not sure which one, but Jay Anar. And he says, keep up the good work. Oh, we will, baby. Cheers to you. Oh, we also have some comments from last week's episode, and that was during the uh, Mo Better shrimp and, and grits. Yeah, we had those honey glazed shrimp with our creamy garlic grits. Oh yeah. And Miss Lindsay says, oh, she tried it. She wanted to try it. She says she was inquiring about the, the creamy garlic grits. And that was episode uh, uh, three. I mean, actually season three, episode six. 
That was just last week. And she says um, she wants to know if she can use minced garlic, uh, if that's okay, as opposed to the, the garlic that we use in the episode. I'm not going to tell you. You got to go check it out. Yeah. And she wants to know if she should use that. Well, Ms. Lindsay, here's, here's the, the fact finder for you. Actually, if you use it to prep it the way we did it in the show, you'll get much, much more flavors just embedded in the grits and it will be all intertwined, so commingled, it will just be one. The taste with the texture. Yeah, one taste, one texture. Okay, we have the medallion style uh, cuts of the monkfish here. And the last pieces, the end pieces, I just cut off the little tail. It, this tail could be a little bit tougher, so I just cut that end piece off. So I'm gonna go ahead and add to it. I'm just gonna sprinkle it with some salt, uh, Himalayan salt that is, a half a teaspoon of Himalayan salt, a quarter teaspoon of freshly ground black peppercorns, and a teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning. I'm just gonna swish that around a little bit, and now I'm just going to apply it to the pieces of fish here. Okay, make sure it's it's very well coated. That's why I have a glove on to help with the process. Okay, we're going to add two tablespoons of avocado oil to the pan. You can also do olive oil. And I have my, my, my skillet on medium high. So we're going to go ahead and place the medallions on the cut side, standing them upward. Okay, I've reduced my temperature, the heat, to medium, medium high. It's just between the medium fan, closer to the medium fan than the high fan if you have a dial on your so now I want to kind of capture it a bit on the sides a little bit. We're not going to leave it on the sides for very long. Our shallots. Now this is two big bulbs of shallots that I've sliced. You know, shallots give it a nice blended flavor with the fish. It is, it has more depth to its flavor than regular onion. I have also two tablespoons of butter that we're going to add. Let's get the rest of it out. And be careful of there are any splatters of oil or butter popping because it does lift from the lift from the skillet a bit. And you don't want to get that get burned. Now we're going to remove it from the heat just a moment as we prepare the rest of the sauce, the thickening portion. The salt, the uh, starch with the water. We're going to blend that in a blender to puree it. You can also do it with the whisk, but if you do it with the, uh, if you don't use a blender, make sure that you do it with the whisk or you do it with the fork, or whatever you're gonna use, make sure it's blended very well, no lumps. So I'm gonna remove this from the heat for a moment. Oh, we are doing it, yes we are. Oh, this meal is gonna be so delish. Mmm. -hmm. Cheers to you, darlings. We're going to now mix the starch. We're, we're gonna use starch and a little bit of blended water with that so that we can thicken this butter and the tar flavors that we have that's gonna be lathered on top of the seared monkfish. Mmm. Okay, here I have my shaker. Now I said you don't have to use a shaker or a blender, but if you don't use it, it's best, it's preferred that you do. But if you don't, make sure you whisk it really well so there are no lumps. I have two tablespoons of starch. 
gonna go ahead and add that. And then I also have a cup of water. I'm gonna pour that in. So I'm gonna go ahead at the top and blend it just, you know, for a moment. Yeah. Okay, and now it's ready. We're gonna go ahead and go back to the stove and put this in. Mm, come with me. Okay, now we're going to add that concoction of the starch and water that we just blended. And I also have my whisk here too. I still like to ensure that I can be able to whisk. Make sure that everything is um, lumpy free. You may need to add a little bit more water if you want the sauce to be less thick, which I will add just a little bit more water. I have two tablespoons of a za'atar. Now this is what I picked up from the UAE in Abu Dhabi, actually, at one of the sooks, one of the um, spice sooks that they have there. They have many of them. And this is what I picked up. So I'm gonna add two tablespoons very slowly, just kind of whisk it around a little bit. Make sure that you've turned the burner off, even though I have the burner off, on, uh, actually I'm turning it off, I had it on low, I turned it off, it's still kind of bubbly, you know, kind of high in heat. So that's why I'm trying to make sure that I whisk everything pretty well. I don't want to turn the burner on anymore because it's still cooking while it's off. You can also remove your fish to do this, but I still want mine to cook a little bit. A couple of pinches of Himalayan salt. This is no more, this is less than a quarter teaspoon that I'm adding to it. And I'm just sprinkling it over the entire entree here. Let's see, flip it over a little bit. I'm gonna use something else to do that. Oh, this should be a nice blend now. Mm. You know, I really fell in love with the seasoning the za'atar. You can make it yourself. Just check out my season three of episode seven. Are you ready? for the big reveal. Ha ha ha. Mmm. Monkfish medallions sauteed, covered in a za'atar butter sauce or gravy. Ha ha ha. Topped with breadcrumbs. Mmm, check it out. Mmm. Mmm, smells so delicious. And it's sided with rice cauliflower medley. Let's pay homage. You ready for your taste, darling? How? I can't wait to give it to you. Ooh, it's so nice and succulent. Look at that. Uh, let me show it to you. Ah, oh, look at that. It's, a, it's so flaky inside. Look at that. Look at that. Mmm. Let me give you a scoop of the cauliflower with it. Here you go, darlings. Ah, did you like that? Mmm, I bet you did. Let me try some with the cauliflower. Oh, gosh. Mmm. Mm. There's that za'atar flavor. Oh, I fell in love with it. Mmm. Mmm. So delicious. Nice succulents. Oh. Mmm. The scallions just gives it a heightened flavor to the za'atar. Oh yes, that zatar is so nutty, and it really blends the um, 
the other flavors together as it all integrates with the monkfish. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. Please like, share, and subscribe. You gotta try this. Mm.